let's say I wanted to create an easy way to find the price of a product just by the product code. So in here, I want to create a drop down menu that looks at all the codes to give me the, the option of choosing one of the codes from my drop down list. One way of doing this is to come here to formulas, name manager, and then new. And let's say I want to create a list. So I like to go LST for list and is a list for product ID or product IDs or products. You can give the name you want. And for refers to, I'm going to say equal to, and let's come here and I want to select the entire column. I can look for this little black arrow there, click once, immediately it selects the entire column for my table and see the name it brings up for us. Products, which is the name of the table and in between brackets, uh, product ID, which is the name of the field or the column header we are referring to. And by referring to, to that range this way, again, if we keep adding products to our table or we keep deleting or if we need to delete something, the list will always be updated. Okay. Okay. So we have a new name created here, LST products ID. Let's close. So to create a data validation here, I can come to my data tab and then here, this button, data validation and any value. No, I want it to be a list, a drop in cell drop down, ignore any blanks. Okay. And for the source, I can start typing the name. And if I don't remember, I can just type, click F3. It brings me a list of the names that I have available. This is the only name available so far. And I say, OK, and OK. And by doing that, now I have a drop down menu here with all the codes available. Not only that, but if it, I don't want to be scrolling up and down, I can type Z, 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 for example, or I can type test, I can type the name of the product that I want. But if I type any a name that doesn't exist, it will say this value is not valid for, for this cell. So it creates me a data validation rule for this cell. So for example, if I want to say, I want to very easily find the price for this product. Okay, we can do, for example, index and match in the, this case, to, to just instead of VLOOKUP, we could also do VLOOKUP. Index the column price. You see how the formula comes up for us? Name of the table and name of the column automatically. I just selected the column. Comma, and now which row you want uh, to find in this column? Well, I want to find a match for this code here in the column uh, where the product IDs live, I just select the column automatically. It brings me the name of the table, name of the column, and I want an exact match. So zero, tab, close the match, close the index. So go to the column price and find the row where product ID matches what's in this cell H3. Enter, and now I get the price for the product test. See if it is correct. There we are. And in here, we could, of course, create some format. So, for example, this one. Okay. So now I have a data validation here that allows me to quickly find the price for let's say a p product p has a different price i can easily find the price for a product code and the good thing about having product codes in a table is that again if i come here and add a new code for example a code product a a a a and i just copy this for example, as an example, now I can maybe put small here. Now 
I don't have to worry if it has a new product or not. I know that a new product will be included there because when I created the data validation, I used the name that was referring was referring to a table.